Welcome to the Blake and History Group Blake and Quiz. You might like to have a pen and paper ready and then see all the answers at the end. So this building wants to study Blake and but where? A the top of Gorse Hill, B at the lodge, C by the adventure playground, or D by the camp shops. This building wants to study Blake and but where? A at the bottom of Gorse Hill. B near D Point School, C near the parade shops, or D the camp shops. The golf house in Blaken was demolished in which decade? A the 1960s, B the 1940s, C the 1950s, or D the 1970s? What? is the name of this golf player who played a Blaken course in the 1930s. A. Is it Gary Player? B. Is it Tiger Woods? C. Is it Henry Cotton? Or D. Is it Fred Davies? The Romans built a wooden fort in Blaken within between 40 AD to 60 AD. Where did it once stand? A. The Parade B near D Point School, C near Blaken High School, or D near the Arches School. This coin was found in Lincoln Road in Blaken. What is it? Is it an Emperor Nerva coin, which is A, B a Julius Caesar coin, B a Caligula coin, or D a Alexander the Great coin? This photo was taken of Blaken Camp in the early 1940s. Where was it situated? A. Blaken High School B. The Parade C. The Camp Shops or D. Gorse Hill Blaken Station opened in which year? A. 1900 B. 1894 C. 1890 or D. 1920? Blaken was named Blash Knoll by whom? A. The Romans B. The Vikings C. The Normans or D. The Saxons Black Knoll means what? A. Black Hill Hollow B. Black Stream C. Black Hole or D. Black Pool In 1940, a German Heinkel bomber was shot down by Spitfires from RAF Zealand. Where did it crash? A. Blaken Camp B. This Race Course C. Bumpers Lane or D. D. Ferry Lane. The Chester Abattoir once stood where? A. Top of Gorse Hill. B. Bumpers Lane. C. Ferry Lane. Or D. Sealand Road. Three figures on the left, own Blaken at one point in time. Who are they? The Lords of Stamford, which is A. B, the Lords of Hatton. C, the Time Lords. <clears throat> or D, the Lords of Crow. This photo shows all one. Blaken's original lampposts. Where is it? A. Sawell Road B. Saxon Way C. Gorse Hill or D. The Lodge The original Blaken Hall stood at the top of Gorse Hill. But who destroyed it? A. Blaken Farmhand who had not been paid for his work B. The Roundheads, 
see the royalists or was it start was a fire started in the kitchen by accident on the firing range in Blake and John during World War Two. Where was this photograph taken? A. Top of Western Avenue. B. The woods near the lodge. C. Near Saxon Way. Or D. Near D Point School. Or at D Point School. Window on the left is in Holy Trinity Church, outside the walls. Which statement is correct? A, the window was made especially for the church in 1960. B, the window was a gift from the cathedral. C, the window was from Holy Trinity within the walls. Or D, the window was from the University of Chester Chapel. The houses in the picture were built for whom to live in? A. Troops during World War II B. Farmers C. Railway workers or D. School teachers This is a photo of a church built in Blaken. Which is it? A. Holy Trinity B. Matthew Henry C. St. Teresa's or D. It's a church in Chester, not in Blaken. Richard Chomley, formerly of Blaken Hall, was buried in which graveyard? A. Blaken Cemetery B. Overly Cemetery C. The Cathedral or D. Shotwick Churchyard So that's the end of the quiz. Um, the answers are on their way. Um, for you, for those people who don't want to see the answers yet, uh, you may want to stop the video and go back and finish at this point and then play it over again. For those of you who want to know the answers, I'm going to go to the next stage. So this is the more modern Blaken Hall and the answer to this question it stood near the Adventure Playground. Uh, the answer to this one is this building stood at the bottom of Gorse Hill and that is the building which is there at the moment and we think there's been a gatehouse at that site for quite a long period of time. Bottom of Gorse Hill is right. So the golf house, which stood at the top of Gorth Hill, that was demolished in the 1970s. And the player, the golf player who played there was Henry Cotton. We had the Romans build a port in Blaken, but where? And we know near, it is near D Point School. That's uh, an aerial photograph taken from 1945, which shows the classic playing card shape of a camp. And that's a sketch done by uh, our Blaken historian. Uh, the Roman queen was actually uh, an Emperor Nerva queen. And the photograph of the camp was taken, um, where was the camp situated? And it was Blake and High School. Uh, Blake and Station opened in which year? And the answer is 1890. Blake was named Black Knoll by whom? And the answer to that is the Saxons. And Black Knoll mean Black Hill and Hollow. In 1940, a German high court 
Bond was shot down and the answer is Bumpers Lane. And the Chester Abattoir, that's also where did it once stand and that was Bumpers Lane. Uh, the answer to this one uh, over the figures which owned Blaken was the Lords of Crew. And the lamppost actually stands on Sorgal Road, uh, which is very close to Hermitage Road. Uh, uh, so it's very near to where Sorgal is, you'll, you'll see at that point, just past the oak tree. So Sorgal, Sorgal Road is the answer for that one. Uh, the original manor house, uh, which was a Tudor manor house, was destroyed by the, the Royalists to stop it falling into the hands of the Roundheads during the Civil War. And the truth on the firing range in Blaken, this is on D Point School, uh, D Point School Field itself. Uh, the actual church window came from Holy Trinity within the walls, which is the Guild Hall, uh, which stands in, which was the original Trinity within the walls. Uh, uh, so the answer to that is Holy Trinity within the walls, which is the Guild Hall, Watergate Street. Houses in the picture, where were they, uh, who were they built for? And the answer was railway workers. It's very close, obviously, to the railway station as well, Blaken Railway Station. Uh, and this is a photograph of St. Teresa's being built. And Richard Charmley, the final answer, and it, it's Shotswick. Shotswick. Um, churchyard. Very interesting little place. If you ever need to take a little trip up there, very, very close. Very, very interesting as well. That about, that, that's just about finishes finishes here anyway. And that's that's our web address. If you'd like to find a bit more out about the Blake and History Group, you go to our web address there. You'll find us uh, there. So it's lots more information on that site. And that's our email if you want to drop us a line and um, if you want to ask any questions or whatever, um, we'd be glad to answer them. Okay, I'm going to finish there and thank you very much for, for taking part. Thanks again and bye from the Blake and History Group. Thank you.